Diesel has not come down, and that affects the price of everything. And perhaps people don't see it and breathe it the way they view gasoline prices. But this is affecting very much the heating costs as well as the shipping costs and has raised questions about banning exports at a time when Europe is flat on its back as well. What's your view? Absolutely. We're very concerned about inventory levels uh, for refined product, diesel in particular, particularly across the east coast of the United States. And we are operating right now at unacceptably low inventory levels, inventory levels for diesel that, for example, are 50, 60 percent lower than their five-year historical average. So this is a conversation that we have had with the industry consistently, and we've been very clear. We need to see more progress in building those inventories. The federal government has some tools in that respect. We have a Northeast Home Heating Oil Reserve, which is diesel, uh, and we have looked very carefully um, at being prepared to deploy as and when necessary in that context. But ultimately, what we need to see is the industry build those inventory okay. levels so that we don't put ourselves in a situation. To your question about exports, the president has been very clear and will continue to be clear. At this moment, when we have uncertainty and uncertainty for American consumers, we have to keep all options on the table. That's what we're doing.